ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on... Key Check! Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang and welcome to another week of competition here on KCheck. We still have a few more challenging weeks to go pero unti-unti ay napupuno na natin ang slots for our semis and the much-awaited grand finals. Subaybayan natin ang journey ng ating mga contestants at sabayan natin silang sumagot sa mga katanungan that will bring them closer to becoming our new KCheck champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una si Ces. Ces is a secondary education student at UP Diliman. Her hobbies are watching K-dramas, listening to K-pop, and collecting photo cards. She also got into anime as recently as last year only. We also have Mitch. Si Mitch naman ay first-year student at UP Diliman's College of Education. She currently studies secondary education, majoring in math. In her free time, she likes to journal, read books, and spend time with her dog. Ice is taking up education studies in UP Open University. His interests include anything about the following. Pop and queer culture, fashion, volleyball, and movies. He also has a pet cat with three names. Minger Poo, Minger Lee, and Minger Lish. I'm sure tatanungin natin siya tungkol dyan. Si Elgin naman, studio art student of UP Diliman. Their hobbies are drawing, cooking, and reading poetry. They're also obsessed with vampires, well wolves, and burgers. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's KCheck panel of experts. Firstly, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Sunod naman, we have Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry from UP Diliman. And we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History from UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, on to round one. Get ready to buzz in and go for the early lead. Each correct answer in this round is worth 10 points. Let's begin! This is round one. Question number one, contestants. How many atoms of hydrogen are there in a molecule of water? Mitch. Two atoms. Two is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. What is the middle name of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Ice? Romualdez. Romualdez is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. What is the surname of the detective and title character played by Benedict Cumberbatch in the TV series, Sherlock? Mitch. Holmes. Holmes is the correct answer. K. Chet. Question number four. In what sport did George Foreman become the oldest fighter ever to win a world championship at the age of 45? Elgin. Boxing po. Boxing po is the correct answer. K. Chet. Question number five. Known as the Queen of Pop, which female singer has it crazy for you and like a virgin as her two biggest selling singles? Mitch. Madonna. Madonna is the correct answer. K. Chet. Although I was thinking that somebody would ring the buzzer even before the question was done. In any case, Madonna is the correct answer. K. Chet. Question number six. In mental algebra, what is the product of 3x squared and 2x squared? Mitch. 6x raised to the fourth. 6x to the fourth is the correct answer. K. Chet. Question number seven. What city in Mindanao is famous for Vinta Rowing, Pasonanka Park, Fort Pilar, and the Kuracha Crab? Parang grade 4 social studies yata to. The correct answer is Sambuanga. Question number 8. In 2013, Park Jun hye became the first female president of what country? ICE. South Korea. South Korea is the correct answer. k check. Question number 9. What do you call a chamber of the heart 
that pumps blood to the arteries. Eyes. Aorta. Aorta is incorrect. Mitch. Ventricles. Ventricle is the correct answer, K. Chen. Question number 10. What popular long-haired breed of cat was believed to have originated in Iran during the 17th century? Sess. Persian. Persian cat is the correct answer, K. Chen. Question number 11. Milan and Florence are key cities in what European country? Ice. Italy. Italy, of course, is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. What sporting event participated in by more than 200 countries every four years was held in Paris in 1900, 1924, and soon to be 2024? Mitch. The Olympics. The Olympic Games is the correct answer. Check. And that's it for our first round. Salamat Attorney Gabi for that round. Let's do a scores recap. Mitch is on the lead with 60 points, followed by Ice with 30 points, at Sina Cess, at LJ naman ay may 10 points each. Ngayon naman, before we proceed, Attorney, of course, mas kinikilala natin ang ating mga participants dito sa favorite nating segment, ang... Kay Chica! Simulan natin si Cess. So, Cess, how did you discover anime at bakit recently lang? At bakit ito yung naging hobby mo? Um, naingan niyo po ako manood na anime nung nakuha ko po yung Hapon class ko nung mid-year po. So, doon po ako nag-start manood. Ba't ka naman biglang nanood? I mean, anime has been around for a long time. Ano yan? Friends? Para lang din po ma-familiarize -familiar po yung um, inaaral po namin sa Hapon. Galing. Nakonect siya sa Akads pa rin. Oo. <laughs> May anime na ba nung... I was about to say panoon natin, yes. pero... <laughs> meron na, meron na. <laughs> Ewan ka lang yung panoon ko. Baka hindi lang tayo kumuha nung class na yun. <laughs> okay. okay. Susunod naman si Mitch. Mitch na uso ang journaling, lalo na nung pandemic, di ba? Pero iba-iba ang reasons kung bakit nagja-journal ang ibang tao. So, what led you to journaling? For me po, it's just the release of my emotions. At documented yung emotions na yun. Opo. <laughs> Gano katagal ka nang nagja-journal? Uh, I started po around 2021 and then on and off During the siya. pandemic? Yes. It makes sense. This pandemic, di ba, really... Changed their habits. Lahat. Changed their habits and started people off on things that they never thought they'd do before. Actually. I guess Ako, it was silver. online. Online. Online purchasing and online <laughs> banking. Kasi before that, parang, ay, kakatakot, di ba? Yes. But the pandemic forced everyone to do things they didn't think they'd do. At ngayon, best of both worlds na. Nabagsasabay mo na. And I'm glad the pandemic is over. Di na siya yes. natin. Yes. Tama. <laughs> okay. Maraming salamat kina Cess at kay Mitch. Pero mamaya, babalikan din natin si na Ice at si Elgen. But first, maghanda na tayo for round two. Dahil susunod na yan dito sa... Kay Check. Welcome back everyone. Reminder lang sa ating mga points. At this point, we have Mitch in the lead with 60, Ice with 30 points, Elgin and Cess with 10 points each. And as promised, syempre babalikan natin ang ating two remaining contestants, si Ice at saka si Elgin dito sa... King Chica! <laughs> so anyway, Ice, if someone would like to learn about queer culture, Eh, where would you advise them to go look? At saka, in the first place, ano ba itong... Ang dami kasi nagtatanong, what do you really mean to say when you say queer? Queer culture is something related in the spectrum of the LGBT community. And I think media has provided us with a lot of information about it. And there we can access what it's all about. For example, me, I'm a fan of watching Drag Race, which is a competition of drag queens. And from there, we can learn a lot from their culture and my culture because I'm a part of that community. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean? Because like for a lot of people, uh, yung L, yung G, yung B, at saka yung T, uh, it's very clear, di ba, what it is. Pero pag nahit mo yung Q for queer, what does it really mean? Uh, queer is a general term, like an umbrella term. Like actually, people always mention LGBTQ plus when mentioning about the gay culture, but we can use gay or queer when we specify that for an easier term. 
like an umbrella term, a general term to mm. specify us. Well, maraming salamat kasi for me personally, that clarifies a lot of things, no? May isa pa akong question kay Ice. May pusa siya na may tatlong names. Oo nga. So, bakit? Tatlo yung names. Depende pa sa mood mo yun. Yeah, kasi may cat po kami before na lumalapit lang siya sa kitchen. Like, stray cat lang talaga siya. Ang tawag namin sa kanya Ming dati. But nung in-adopt namin siya, nasanay na kami sa Ming. So, like, we needed to make it more special. So, nag-isip kami ng tatlong alternative. So, Minger Lish, Minger Po, and Minger Li. <laughs> Ayun, para mas unique lang. Mm. Nag-level up si Ming Ming Bala. Marami ding labels at sa yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Ngayon naman si Elgen. So, si Elgen, vampires, werewolves, and burgers in one sentence. So, ano tong, ba't ganito yung obsession mo? At may burgers talaga sa dulo. Um, yung vampires and werewolves, siguro parang dati pa po, uh, gusto ko maniwala sa mga ganun talaga. Feeling ko kung, alam kong hindi totoo, pero feeling ko kung meron talaga, mas magiging fun yung everyday life. Kaya may burgers. Ewan ko po, pinapasulat po kasi yung bio, wala na po akong maisip. Tapos, gutom po ako nun and mm. burger is in my heart. Hindi <laughs> naman ikaw yung vampire dito. Ay, pwede pong vampire para sa, uh, para sa burgers. Para sa burgers. Actually, ang social, di ba? Kasi ang una kong iniisip, tikbalang at saka kapre. <laughs> Manananggal <laughs> sa werewolves. But in any case, thank you very much to our contestants. I really love this portion every yes. time, no? Kasi very it's unique. nice to get to know more about our contestants and about culture in yes. general in this time of the Gen Z's. But in any case, maraming salamat ulit. And now it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure that you strategize for this round. Kasi dito, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round two. Question number one. What bird of prey is Anthony Mackie's Marvel superhero character or a varsity player from Adamson? It's... Eagles. Eagles is wrong. Anyone can steal ice? Falcon. Falcon is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What term for mischievous fairies is also the name of a race of fair beings far more beautiful than men in the Lord of the Rings? Elves or elf is correct. K okay, check. Question number three. Silverstone is the venue of which Grand Prix in the 2024 Formula One season? Correct answer is British Grand Prix. Question number four. A sitcom is a narrative light-hearted story based on a specific situation. Setcom is short for what two words? Mitch. Situational comedy. Situation and comedy is correct. K okay, check. Question number five. In elementary science, what do you call the place or environment where a plant or animal naturally naturally lives and grows? Says. Habitat. Habitat is correct. K okay, check. Question number six. In geometry. What do you call a polygon that has congruent sides? Ice. Uh, similar triangles. Similar triangles is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is equilateral. Question number seven. What song by South Korean rapper Sai? Released on July 15, 2012, Ice. Gangnam Style. That we proceed has more than 5 billion views on YouTube as of 2024. Gang Gangnam Style is correct. Okay, check. Question number 8. The 2012 Olympics in London was the first time that women competed for three countries. Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and what small Southeast Asian Sultanate? Correct answer is Brunei. Question number nine. What term can mean the radioactive dust 
after a nuclear explosion or the unpleasant results of an action? Mitch. Fallout. Fallout is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. Making his TV debut way back in 1963, which fictional character uses a British police box to travel through time? Mitch. Doctor Who. Doctor Who is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. In angle measures, how many degrees is equal to pi over 3 radians? Mitch. 60 degrees. 60 degrees or 60 is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. In what sport may you use your hand as a pancake to prevent the ball? Ice. Volleyball. To prevent the ball from hitting the floor, you said volleyball, that's correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number two. And after that round, we have a points recap. Mitch is still in the lead with 130 points. Ice with 80 points, Elgin and Sess in third place with 30 points each. And up next, ang pinaka hinihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa K-Check! -check. At points recap tayo ulit, Mitch is in the lead with 130 points, followed by Ice with 80 points, at si Nases at si LJ naman ay may 30 points each. In the lead man si Mitch ngayon ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. That's right, kasi dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. So contestants, tandaan for this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. Surround din ito sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. And this is your last chance para humabol, di ba? Kasi 360 points ang total dito sa ultimate pagalingan round. And naman, good luck sa lahat ng ating mga contestants. And let's, let's begin! begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Jules. In the early 20th century, an artistic movement began in which subjects were analyzed, broken up, and reassembled in an abstract form. Pablo Picasso and Georges Braque were the pioneers of this artistic movement called A. Pointillism B. Surrealism C. Dadaism D. Cubism E. Impressionism Actually, lagot ako kung mali ko to, pero D. Cubism Yes, Cubism is correct. Um, it's the artistic movement where you can paint a side view of someone and still see both eyes. Okay, so okay, check, Elgin. Thank you. Prof Freaky, next question, please. What is the pH or power of hydrogen of a neutral solution? Yes. Seven. A neutral solution has a pH of seven, which is neither acidic nor basic. Okay, check. Thank you. Next question, Prof Lu. Okay, salamat. Simula tayo sa madali. Social media history. Which world leader became an internet meme for tweeting about Kovfefe? A. Justin Trudeau B. Narendra Modi C. Angela Merkel D. Donald Trump E. Vladimir Putin Mitch D. Donald Trump Kovfefe is a nonsense word widely pres presumed to be a typographical error that Donald Trump used in a viral tweet when he was President of the United States. The correct answer is D, Donald Trump. K-check. Thank you. Next set of questions, uh, Prof. Sophie. Um, in literature, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, first published in 1865, 
was written by Lewis Carroll. What was Lewis Carroll's real name? A. Mark Twain B. Samuel Langhorne Clemens C. Charles Charles Ludwig Dodgson Sorry D. Charles Dickens E. George Eliot B. Samuel Langhorne Clemens Ah, mali po! Somebody want to steal? Um, the correct answer is yung mahaba, Charles Ludwig Dodgson. Uh, no wonder he got a shorter pen name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Prof Finky, next question. What technique did Dorothy Crawford Hodgkin use to determine the structures of important biochemical substances? A. NMR spectroscopy. B. Mass spectrometry. C. X-ray crystallography. D. Electron microscopy. E. Chromatography. Ice. D. Electron microscopy. Sorry, mali. Dorothy Crawford Hodgkin used X-ray crystallography to determine the structures of important biochemical substances including vitamin B12 and insulin. This technique helped elucidate the three-dimensional structures of complex molecules. Thank you. Prof. Lu, next question please. Okay, mula social media, lipat naman tayo ng video game history. What is the oldest video game in the world? The choices are A. Donkey Kong B. Space Race C. Tennis for Two D. Galaxy Game or E. Tank Elgin um, C. Tennis for Two Released in October 1958 by American physicist William Higgin Botham, Tennis for Two was the first computer game created solely for entertainment rather than for academic research. The correct answer is C, Tennis for Two, K-Check. Thank you. Now we know. <laughs> now we know. Oh. Okay, so that's the end of the first half. First Let's half. Let's do a scores recap, Attorney. Well, Mitch is still in the lead with 160 points, pero ang second place ngayon, nandito si Elgin with 90 points, followed by Cess with 60, and Ice with 50 points. Mm -hmm. So we still have 180 points left for the next half. So, galingan niyo. Oh, anything can happen still. Yes. Simulan na natin, Prof. Sophie. Okay, thank you. Um, this should be easy. The second stanza of Jose Rizal's Mi Ultimo Adios can be found at the base of what sculpture? A. Rizal Monument B. UP Oblation C. Bonifacio Monument D. Edsa Monument E. Quezon Memorial Shrine Elgin um, B. UP Oblation po Can you remember it? <laughs> Sige, I'll read um, San man mautas ay di kailangan Cypress o laurel, lirio may patungan Pakikipaghamok at ang bibitayan Yaon ay gayon din kung hiling ng bayan um, You are correct, it is um, UP Oblation Diyan lang po, dalawin natin kay Check Thank you Prof. Sophie Next question, Prof. Ricky Which process do plants use to make their own food? A. Photosynthesis Yes, photosynthesis Plants use photosynthesis to make their own food by converting light energy into chemical energy in the form of glucose. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Lu, next question. Okay, salamat. World history tayo. How many non-permanent members are there in the UN Security Council? The choices are A, 5, B, 8, C, 10, D, 12, or E, 15. The United Nations Security Council has 15 members, 5 permanent, 
and 10 non-permanent. The correct answer is C, 10. Thank you so much, Prof. Lu. Now we're off to the last set of questions. Siyempre, nasa lead pa rin si Mitch with 160 points. Humahabol talaga si Elgen with 120 points. Cess is in third place with 90 points. And Ice has 50 points. 90 points left for this last round. Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Okay. Um, back to art. In the 19th century, members of the Principalia had their portraits painted in meticulous detail while wearing the finest embroidery, gold jewelry, and the various accessories that displayed their high social standing. What style was this painting called? A. Art Deco B. Art Nouveau C. Letras y Figuras D. Miniaturismo E. Tipos del País Elgin. Um, D. Miniaturismo. Um, you are correct. It's called Miniaturismo because the details are worthy of a smaller work. Okay, okay check. Kumahabul na talaga si Elgin, di ba? Elgin now has 150 points. Uh, in second place, while Mitch has 160 points. Okay, so we have 60 points left. Sir Ricky. What is the process by which animals convert food into energy and nutrients? A. Photosynthesis B. Digestion C. Respiration Ice C. Respiration Sorry, mali. D. Fermentation E. Transpiration Cess B. Digestion Digestion is the process by which animals break down food into smaller components that can be absorbed into the bloodstream and used for energy and nutrients. Photosynthesis and transpiration are processes used by plants, while respiration and fermentation are parts of the metabolic processes. Okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Ricky. Last question for this round. Prof. Lu. Okay, salamat. Economic history naman. Which communist leader's economic plan was called the Great Leap Forward? A. Joseph Stalin B. Joseph Bros. Tito C. Deng Xiaoping D. Kim Il-sung E. Mao Zedong The Great Leap Forward was a five-year economic expansion expansion plan implemented by the Chinese Communist Party in 1958. Mao Zedong's goal was to modernize the country's agricultural sector using communist economic ideology. The correct answer is E. Mao Zedong. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Mitch. Our K-Check daily winner with a final score of 160 points. We'll see her again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Maraming salamat din kay Cez at saka kay Ice and of course kay Elgin na malapit na sanang nasungkit ang ten ano today lang. pero 10 points na lang, di ba? Maraming salamat for joining and of course to the members of our panel of experts Professor Sophie, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lou. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.